Okay, I'm back with, uh, you know, kind of a different project here, just uh, monkeying around with some stuff at the moment. Um, <coughs> excuse me, uh, while I'm waiting for, you know, sidetrack for the ColecoVision to get released and, uh, you know, make its appearance on cartridge, uh, I thought I'd just uh, kind of put the brakes on ColecoDev for a very short time, won't be long. Um, I'm not abandoned in ships, so don't worry about that, guys. Uh, but just wanted to experiment with some uh, Neo Geo stuff. Um, there's a guy out there on the internet <coughs> uh, by the uh, username Neo Neo Bits Neo Blitz. Oh boy, sorry, I'm getting your name wrong. Um, but anyways, um, he uh, created a, uh, this uh, C library that allows you to relatively easily make Neo Geo stuff. Uh, so what I was going to show was just a quick sprite demo. Nothing fancy, just more or less a Hello World app. Um, if you'll notice, I'm using MAME, um, MAME32, and uh, the way the uh, Neo Dev Kit works, uh, that's actually the name of it, by the way, if you Google uh, Neo Dev Kit, you'll find it. Um, really easy, amazing stuff, I'll tell you. Uh, he did a fantastic job <coughs> of uh, making this so far. Uh, as far as I understand, the current version doesn't support sound, but um, on his Facebook page, the developer's Facebook page, uh, he apparently does have uh, some sound stuff uh, in the works and uh, some really neat looking tile map stuff. Okay, so uh, you have to compile using uh, uh, your ROM under the uh, Neo Geo game Puzzle the Pun. So we'll uh, just kind of give that a shot. And uh, no, I don't really want to update iTunes right now. Okay, so here's a let's write demo. And uh, let's see. So I'll we'll just kind of. Hit that, and I don't really have speakers, but I have headphones, so you can kind of hear the Neo Geo stuff going on there. Yeah, as you can see, the uh, screen, the title screen is glitched at the moment for the Neo Geo. But uh, there you go. So there's, you know, my quick little Hello World app. I just got a bunch of sprites going, as you can see. I got um, <clears throat> this one, you know, expands. I uh, got a static one in the background, which is actually a sprite. Uh, another Joe, just basically to show how many sprites you can get and uh, on screen have no problem. And then, as you can see, this little guy here just keeps doing some weird little effects. Um, I haven't tried any rotation stuff yet, or um, uh, there's another method apparently uh, for doing some uh, scaling. I haven't tried that stuff yet, but you know, also just you know, basic text on the screen. I added a little bit of multicolor to the uh, font there, which I thought was kind of cool. So, you know, there it is. Thought that looked kind of neat, as you can see. It looks pretty good on the emulator. Um, and the other thing which is nice about this Neo Dev Kit is apparently you can compile uh, really easily for Neo CD. I uh, haven't tried that yet. Maybe, you know, in the next uh, few days or so. But anyways, not sure what I'm going to build yet. You know, I admit uh, my favorite type of games are bullet hell shooters. Probably would be cool to see how far I could take one of those. But um, <clears throat> just wanted to show... You know, it uh, looks like a pretty easy system to develop for, uh, especially with the thanks to the uh, the uh, Neo Dev Kit uh, tool set. So, okay, that's it, and uh, talk to everyone later. But uh, again, uh, for the, those of you who watch my channel regularly for ColecoVision updates, uh, have not abandoned ship, uh, I will be doing some uh, ColecoVision stuff uh, very soon. I still got Monster Bash in the works and uh, my uh, music tracker. Um, but uh, as I said, just kind of decided to put the brakes on everything uh, until I uh, get my sidetrack cartridge <laughs> in the mail. So, no offense, but uh, you know, just really would like to see my cartridge someday. Okay, I'll talk to everyone later. Bye.